got interested in um, rainforest ecology years ago. Um, in fact, when I was in high school, and um, and then went on to study um, environmental science and economics, and then did PhD work in ecology, and. Um, and mainly um, one of the things I did during my studies is I took a field studies course to Costa Rica where we um, really studied um, the ecology of the rainforest, but also um, like the environmental economics of protecting rainforest ecosystems and how important it is to have products that are derived from the rainforest, but they're products that enable you to sustainably harvest from the rainforest. So, um, so that was really like where a lot of my academic studies were. I um, spent a few years doing environmental consulting, and then um, I got very interested in um, chocolate as a product that came from the rainforest and that we could um, sell and um, particularly um, I got very interested in um, fine flavor cacao and how um, that is actually um, somewhat endangered on the world market in the fact that um, it's not really being um, um, produced as um, f frequent as some of the genetic hybrids that are mainly um, planted in Africa. So um, I got very interested in um, how to protect the, um, the cacao that is uh, very fine in flavor and rare in genetics. And so that's what got me very interested in um, chocolate making and the fact that you can um, have all these different flavor notes from different um, origins of chocolate and also different um, varietals of cocoa beans. So that I found as a really interesting um, opportunity in chocolate and also opportunity um, in that it would be a sustainable um, use of the rainforest.